right guys just gonna be doing um, one of these daily revelations today I'm gonna be trying to do this most days um, need to get back into the swing of this because um, there's a lot of points that keep keep being brought up um, that I need to correct with you guys okay so it is half six in the morning I've been up for an hour and a half already um, as I tell you guys to all right need to get in need to get the day started need to create that space um, so you're not running around in fucking chaos um, chasing your tail all day however what I wanted to talk about today is fucking grammar Nazis or people who are waiting for perfection um, waiting for the perfect day to happen, waiting for the perfect work, workout to happen. And why am I calling these grammar Nazis? Well, someone came up to me in the gym the other day. She will remain nameless, but she knows who she is if she's watching this. Um, and she was telling me how poor my grammar and my spelling is on my emails, on my ad copy, um, and I was like, well, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Um, it is what it is. It's getting out there. It's working. It's doing its thing. Um, as you guys can all see, the gym's busy. Online is busy. Everywhere's busy. Something is working. It ain't the fucking spelling. It's the message that we put out there, the path that we set you guys. Um, that's what keeps you here. And you can see that me and the team put the work in and are constantly developing the program. Now, going back to the, the grammar Nazi shit, you know, if you're worried, if you're too worried, now this is not a, this is not a big dig, but I'm just explaining. I just want to explain why I don't give a fuck about you know my, my grammar, my spelling. I honestly am shit at it. I am shit at it. I failed. English think four times at school um, so yeah I am shit at spelling and grammar um, but it, it's made no difference to where I am but um, yeah explain why I'm not bothered okay about um, sending emails out that are poor grammar doing videos that are not professionally produced because this is another criticism I got from someone else in the gym saying that my videos and my the way things look don't look professional don't look like you've had a professional team do them well i haven't had a professional team do them i've done it all myself i've learned it all myself i've learned how to market myself i've learned how to do facebook ads myself um with a little bit of guidance but i do i execute and implement um so it doesn't look like i've got a professional team on it i am a coach a personal trainer um, and the bodybuilder I ain't a fucking web designer or a, cop a professional copywriter or get paid to do people's Facebook ads although I could because I'm pretty good at those now um, so it's not going to look professional so yeah some of my stuff might look a little bit raw and ready but I think it relates to people more they trust you more if it's a bit more raw off the cuff not scripted okay so yeah why i don't give a fuck about my grammar why i don't give a fuck about um swearing on camera why i'm not bothered about how things look um in terms of the production of videos and stuff these people generally these people are too worried about getting things perfect okay and when you're setting that mindset of having the perfect day the perfect workout the perfect whatever you don't perform the reps and doing the reps whether it's in the gym squatting do writing emails doing facebook ads 
doing whatever you guys do at work, for work, you only get better by doing the reps. And if you're procrastinating that, oh, it doesn't look perfect, what are people going to think? Then you're never going to get anywhere. You're not going to get the reps in, you're not going to get anywhere. Okay, so I do my emails. I should be doing them every day, I probably do them three times a week. I need to up that. But I do my emails and I just bang it out there. I do a bit of a spell check, the spelling's normally okay, but the grammar's probably all over the shop. But I just get it out there. I get it out there, and people should be looking at the message that I'm trying to get across, not whether I've crossed the T's, dotted the I's, put the spaces in, used the right where instead of where. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. It's the message that I'm trying to get across. So, you know, that is why, if you're always wondering why my copy's not so great, my spelling's may be off, um, the grammar's out, my video production's not as clean and smooth as um, it should be, that is why. I need to just get in, do the reps, stop procrastinating, try to make things perfect, and just get the message out there which is do the reps. Implement what we have told you, what we have given you to implement. Okay, everything you need is there. You don't need to worry about how many grams of sugar is in some bloody chicken or um, processed chicken that is, or the macros don't match up you put your diet into my fitness pal and the macros don't quite match up to the macros I've set you. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Get in and do it. Just do it and be consistent. Implement and execute like you mean it. Um, and it's going to work. You know, I've got the proof. I've got the social proof. You've, you've seen the people that are training you. You've seen how committed the team are to getting you results. It is going to work. Everything you guys are doing is based off what I have done over the last 25 years. So just get in and get the reps done. So I think that's it for this one. So the message is stop being a grammar Nazi. Get in. Do the reps. Do what we've told you to do. No extra. No less. And then when you do them reps, fucking alarm went off then. But I'm still going to put it out there. But when you do them reps, do it like you mean it. Don't just go in the gym, float around in the gym, um, coasting along, ticking off what you got to do, and it's a half arsed effort. You should be in there, you should be smashing it, you should be pushing yourself, you should be improving every single workout. Your logbook should be showing that your weights are going up or your volume is going up, i.e. the sets that you do and the reps that you do. Um, there should be improvement every single time. If you're not improving every single workout you go in, you're not doing it right. If you're not laid on that floor gasping for air, you're not doing it right. So, execute, do the reps, implement like you mean it, stop being a fucking grammar Nazi, and just do it. Our worst clients, I always have a bit of a rule, if I have a client that asks more than three questions in a week, they're going to be a pain in the arse. Okay? You can ask questions, but sometimes we get a client who is a pain in the arse. And I normally tell them where to go. We've not had that many. Probably had two or three since I've been pushing coaching and personal training as a business over the last five or six years. I've probably had two or three that are an absolute pain in the arse. Okay, so don't be that client. Just get on, implement and execute. And you will see the results. The guys who are implementing and executing, um, 
Mark Patey, uh, Isabella, Rachel Jane, Karen Singleton. Shaw Reed is implementing executing, although she was the person who said I said my grammar and spelling was shit. Sorry, I had to say it. Um, and there's lots of other guys there um, that are, but those people spring to mind. They're just doing what Avarice tell them to do, and they are absolutely smashing it. Okay. Um, you other people, if you're not quite seeing the results, this will be one of the reasons. You're too busy getting pulled and sucked into what other people are doing, worrying whether what you're doing is right. So let's get on with it. Let's implement, execute, and do it like you mean it. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.